Hey everyone, week three, start of day two. Day one, no problems. We've got a bit of the sulfur burps going on right now, but nothing that's really major. No constipation, and no other actual side effects other than still being really tired. But, I'm working on that. Now to address those who commented on the previous video when it comes to how I did my injections. I, if I have been stated in other videos, have a movement disorder, which means I can have very shaky movements and I can have very abrupt movements. When I do my injections, regardless of what I'm injecting, which is mostly insulin, I do it slow and precisely. Because if I don't, I will jab myself, which means I get a very much amount of pain because it is a real hard jab. And I've learned over the years that that leaves major bruises behind and those bruises take forever to heal. So no, I am not going to just poke it in. Not going to happen. It isn't worth the problems that re result from it. As for uh, the clicks that you were hearing, because I was delivering it in measured amounts, again, I'm not going to do it in a single stream. I'm used to having to do high doses of insulin, which means I have learned to do it in steady strokes or steady dosages, so I don't get bubbling under the skin and I create less issues with bubbling. I found the same way works with using Yozempic. If I do it fast, I have a lot more pain in the leg. If I do it slow, I don't. And as for that, when I primed it, I know I'm only supposed to have hit one click. I hit two. I'm used to doing two primes for all my insulin. It happens. So I, ha I hit two. Big deal. It's not as though I'm, gonna, I'm lost too much from the pen. I'm going. I'm doing the click methods after I finish this first month, so what is left in that pen won't be a problem. Other than that, as I said, everything is good for the first twenty-four hours, and I'm doing how it works for me. You do how it works for you. Until tomorrow, take care.